Okay, so uh, me and Nicole are here in the car V. You can barely hear it, but the generator's running on the back. I got all my car V gear down there, not set up for camp. I'm just testing out the gen. And come on up. Now we'll go, we'll go take a look at this bad boy. You can hear it running, but it's very quiet. It's a sound, but it's like nothing major. It's not some sound that someone would think, oh man, they're doing something wrong. What do you think, babe? It's good, right? All right, now we're gonna open it up and I'll show you how I, how I designed it, this new setup. Okay. So the new setup, the way I did it was you no longer have to refill the fuel tank halfway through the night because I have a reserve fuel tank. I drilled a hole down on the bottom and I have a line coming through here going to this lever that's on so the fuel's flowing through and I have it going into the side of the Predator at just the right height so the fuel's constantly gravity dropping down to where it splices in with where the generator's fuel tank goes into the throttle. So they both meet up and then go into the throttle together. So it's equally sucking off of each fuel tank. This one, 1.3 gallons, and then this one, one gallon. Giving me 2.3 gallons and enough for the whole night. Now, I completely gutted the generator box, and instead of using wood and slots, all I have is the air coming up here, completely opened up with a fan fans on high and then that fan on high I just put it in with great stuff everything's great stuff I just put it in with great stuff it blows the air through here it goes around this side of the generator above the generator and on the side of it and then it comes out the exhaust here and a huge opening at the bottom and since that fans blowing there's plenty of air to blow it all through and that kind of curve this to kind of curve it down towards the bottom you can see up here how the generator comes air exhaust comes through these bars at the bottom. So no one can steal it. Even if they broke the lock, then they got this lock to deal with. The lock isn't in the way of the exhaust fumes. And all you do is kick get it going, and you got a nice Totally quiet generator running in a box on the back of your car that is hardly even noticeable. So if you were in a parking lot and you saw this car here and heard that sound, you're not going to think much of it. That's a generator box built by Adam and Nicole.